Hey everyone, how are you doing? We're gonna do a review here of this AgriFab Toe Behind Spreader. All right, so I picked this up about a year ago and when it comes, you have to put it together. It'll have this bin separate from the frame and you'll bolt that on and in addition you'll be putting this piece on now when you're putting this together there is a little something to watch out for the instructions aren't very clear about which bolt holes to put these into and if you don't put them in the right holes you'll end up pulling on this piece down here that opens the trap door a little too much when you move the lever and you can crack it so you got to be real careful when you're putting this together that you get it in these correct bolt holes um, the only other thing I did notice when I was using it the first time was that you know at the level of my hitch here it's tilted down a little bit I wasn't a big fan of that what I wanted to do is make it toe more level so what i did was i took a little piece of chain and i wrap it around that uh ball no let me see that's not how i it the way. there we go and it gives me just a little more level towing and i feel like it does a better job of spreading evenly if i do that so that's why i did that this thing does come with pneumatic tires which is nice because you can, um, you know, let a little air out of them and have a little softer ride if you've got some bumpy ground. Um, but no problems yet with those. Those are just on a bushing that you just tap this on uh, the cap and the, on the axle and it holds in place. The gearbox comes together. So basically the gearbox is on the axle when you get it and you just put it in place with the correct washers. Put the cotter pins through and that's all you got to do to put that together. So nothing too difficult as far as putting it together. Like I said, you just want to watch that you get those certain bolts in the right spot so you don't end up messing up uh, the trap door later. It also has some adjustment here for how open you want it to be. So depending on the prill size or the seed size of what you're spreading. Typically for most fertilizers here, I'm hovering her between two and three this is what it looks like at that setting and here's a setting a little closer to five or even six and you can see you know it's definitely got some width to it now it'll drop some seed real fast or fertilizer or whatever you're spreading they do have some guide here a guide sticker telling you for the speed you're at and the the spread width in feet for gra for fertilizer and grass seed so you can definitely use that as a guide all right i'm going to be spreading grass seed so i'm going to have this at uh, about two two and a half i like to set the opening size before I go ahead and fill it up so once I do that tighten that down and that's where it'll go and then switch it over to this off position and that just locks in like that Now I have noticed using this thing that I tend to want to be moving a little before I reach back and click it on, especially with a fine fertilizer, but um, for the most part it works just fine either way. Uh, but that's something I did notice, it, it'll tend to throw or drop a little bit maybe when you move just a little. Um, so you kind of want to be moving before I open that up.
Okay, so let's try some fertilizer. Now the prill size on this isn't very big. And I think I'm gonna set this a little further than I did with the seed. So I don't have to go back and forth quite so many times. But uh, the setting of three or so like this should be good. Usually there's a little bit of whatever you were spreading left over in the bottom. At the end, you just want to disconnect it and dump it out somewhere safe. Generally speaking, that's the gist of this thing. It works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I guess uh, leave a comment if you would about maybe what you guys think to do to connect this using the actual hitch pin so it's level i don't know if it's just because of it's this particular tractor that i'm using is john deere l120 um but you know it seems like if it was down there and angled down it may not really work as well versus having that spreader uh be flat so you know parallel to the ground so i hope this helps you out if you're thinking of getting one of these you know it works pretty well Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.